Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer. Uh, you can see here from the beautiful Gyro Bomber, we're here today with the Dwarves. So, Shetland Apache had mentioned to me recently that the Gyro Bomber is pretty good against single entity models, including single entity chariots, so I decided to bring one against Norska since they tend not to bring too much of an air force. Just as a note, this is exactly why I tend to bring Feral Manticores in this matchup myself, but we've also got two Brimstone Guns here. And then for the main line, all in the woods here, we've got Giant Slayers. Elite Halberds are great versus Norska, and for the Dwarves, that means Giant Slayers. We've got some Dwarf Warriors holding the back with a front line of Blasting Charges. A couple of Rangers up front to do some skirmishing as well. And Ungrim is the only one visible here, just uh, taunting the Norskins from a distance. Speaking of which, a very, very wide Norskin build. We've got tons of Marauders mixed with Marauder Great Weapons. A couple Throwing Axes here, some Warhounds, some Trolls as well. Uh, we've got plenty of chariots also, a couple of marauder chariots, an ice wolf chariot, and wolfric on a chariot, of course. More hounds in the back. But uh, right off the bat, you can see I'm drawing wolfric into a bit of a kill zone here, and we're going to open up shots with the various uh, machines and range units here. You can see the brimstone gun almost has like a little like ro uh, like machine grenade launcher type deal. Actually does really good damage against single entity targets. You can see Wolfric's already taking quite a bit of damage, having to use that Foe Seeker to skedaddle on out of there. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue sort of chasing him around a little bit. My intention was to try and draw these Marauder Horsemen into range of the Rangers here so that we could potentially use them to fire in. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Meanwhile, Norskins will be advancing across the field here. You can see uh, because of the, the hill and the woods here, I'm going to be in a pretty advantageous position overall. If we take a look, these rangers are going to do a few volleys, just firing in here to uh, soft targets, and they are going to pull back. Once we feel that the Norskins are close enough, we'll let these guys charge into the uh, range of the blasting charges there. Yeah, not super efficient shooting at the ones with shields. I should be shooting at the uh, great weapons, definitely. But hey, you know, microing other things. Speaking of which, those gyros coming in, doing a few drive-by shots. The gyro bomber can fire while moving. The copters cannot, but the bo the bomber itself can. That being said, you probably don't want it necessarily shooting at infantry. You probably want to save it for enemy single entity models, as mentioned. But oh man. Blasting charges as the Norskins advance through the woods here. Very beautiful cinematic shot. And we're also going to bring the uh, gyrocopters in for a quick bombing run as well. Just all of the powder and, and bombs unleashed on these light Norskin forces as they advance here. It is going to be a brutal effect. You can see already one great weapon unit routed off all across the field here. We are just going to see these units open up. The chariots are trying to charge in, but of course, because we're in the woods here, and I do have giant slayers on station to be able to respond, it shouldn't be super effective. Wolfric charges in, and I'm not sure if he used the debuff on Ungrim. It looks like maybe he didn't, but unfortunately, he does charge straight into uh, Ungrim here, and between the gyros raining in shots, some of them are hitting the trees, but some of them are getting through. And uh, yeah, of course, Ungrim swinging his uh, Axe of Dargo there. That will be enough to take down Wolfric. And with his loss, it is already going to be a significant dent in the balance of power. There are still some chariots over here on the far side, but you can see angry giant slayers getting their axes out. They are going to run in there. We're going to keep it mostly in cinematic just because this, uh, this battle is beautiful. The Norskins and the Dwarves duking it out in the woods here. Got some uh, Dragonback Slayers running in. The Rangers getting involved in melee a little bit here. Second wave of Marauders moving in now. The Trolls also, because they were kind of way out on the side, they still just barely made it into combat here. And uh, the Giant Slayers were able to deal with the Chariots over on the far side there. Uh, we're going to use these uh, Brimstone Guns to potentially go after those Ice Wolf Chariots. But, uh, oh man, here is the bombing run of the Gyro Bomber itself, dropping its payload all over these filthy Norskin Barbarians. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, right down the line, just going to break this entire line of Marauders here, and that is going to be a brutal, brutal beatdown for the Norskins. Uh, they're going to try and rally themselves here, but a few more blasting charges, and oh man, like the Slayer with the fire and flames in the background, the Dragonback Slayers. Oh man, blasting charges do cause fire damage as well, and of course these guys do have the flammable trait from the Dragonback Slayers. So they do actually synergize quite well with those blasting charges. Brimstone guns continuing to fire from above. And uh, yeah, they're gonna just blow up these chariots. So for those of you guys, I, I've got 
this replay and a few other replays where, you know, lots of chariots against the dwarves. But uh, gyros in matchups where you can protect them will be a great answer to taking down chariots. And honestly, the bomber, I think, if you're afraid of single entity chariots like, you know, Doom Wheels um, against like the Tomb Kings or, or Norsko or anyone else who can bring, you know, a strong single entity chariot lord or, or hero or whatever, um, you know, the gyro bomber definitely deserves another look, I think. You can see it's dumbly hitting the trees here, but that's just fine. It still will get through a couple shots onto this chariot boy. And that's going to be it for Norsko. So a relatively quick one, but still definitely a fun one. I figured you guys would want to see those beautiful cinematic shots of the Gyro Bomber in action there. And believe it or not, as much of a meme as the Gyro Bomber is, it's actually, I think that there's some merit to that. I, You know, definitely it'll be hard in a lot of matchups because you're just going to see air units against you and it'll be tough to protect. But potentially, you know, if you have the ground fire to support, um, if something comes after your gyro bomber, you know, you can run back to your guns. In this matchup, I wasn't too worried about anything too heavy in the air. I mean, Norska can really only bring the feral manticores and the uh, uh, ice worms, frost worms, whatever they're called. Let's see here. Norska. So, yeah, they've got the, uh, the feral manticore is pretty decent. You will see these guys in this matchup. At least I frequently bring them. I don't see that a lot of other people bring them. They tend to just go heavy on the chariots. But honestly, for 800 points, you get fear and terror on a nice mobile unit. Only 45 armor, though. So, I mean, rangers, you don't necessarily need the AP as much here. Granted, guns are great against Famir and other things. But I, I figured I wanted my AP guns up in the air just because I could protect them there. Uh, I believe the Frostworm has 70 armor. Yeah, so even there, I mean... 70 armor is pretty good, it's not amazing, but Corallers and Rangers do have good enough uh, missile damage to be able to get through that. 4 armor piercing missile damage and 16 overall is quite a bit. Um, so, that, you know, with their volume of fire, they will be able to get through the lower armor there. And so, you know, I'm not honestly too worried about either of these. Likewise, the Frostworm is flammable, so if you have multiple units of gyros like I did there, you know, if you have the bomber, maybe he's chasing one of these units of uh, gyros. The Brimstone's guns actually do fire damage as well. So they're also a pretty good pick in that ma matchup, uh, just for a number of different things. Obviously, not only against the Frostworm, but you've got Skin Wolves, all of the various ice units. You know, your ice trolls, obviously, your uh, ice hounds, I believe. No, they are not weak to fire damage, but, uh, you know, your... Uh, Skin Wolves have the regeneration trait, which makes them weak to fire. So, just in general, the Brimstone Guns are a pretty good pick here. And they, I believe they did buff their Missile Damage in the last patch. So they do a little bit more Missile Damage. And I, I find them to be slightly more impactful. Especially taking out, like, Single Entity Chariots and so on. But, uh, yeah, the Bomber... If we take a look here, the Missile Damage seems really high. I don't know exactly how it's calculating all of this because of the Explosion Damage and everything. But, I mean... You saw the effect, more or less, of what this means um, in terms of what kind of damage it did. And, I mean, it has pretty good range. The bombs also are pretty nice. You saw in the end screen there that all the, the gyros had pretty low kill numbers. The bombs still are not counting for them. And I don't know how that works from, for free-for-all. So, just a disclaimer, if you bring bombers in free-for-all, you might not get the points for the bombs. I don't know exactly. But, regardless, the gyro bomber... In general will be pretty good in a number of uh, matchups I think you know this one potentially green skins as well just because they don't have a lot of flying units to really contest the air um, although they can counter fire you with their archers pretty effectively uh, Skaven have good AP missiles and howling warp gale but if they don't bring either of those things the gyrocopters are a huge pain for the Skaven so they can be good there vampire coast probably not Tomb Kings, maybe. I mean, they really only have Carrion, but Carrion are a huge pain, and they are faster than Gyros, I want to say. Um, let's see here. They have 100 speed. Yeah, that is slightly faster. Uh, let's see, 105 for Brimstones and 90 for the Bomber. So it's they're faster than the Bomber. Maybe maybe they'd be worth bringing here. I mean, certainly the fire damage, if, if your opponent brings, uh, you know... Enemy Tomb King Lord on a chariot. The fire damage from the Brimstone Guns obviously will apply to them. And just generally, I would think that the Gyro Bomber would be pretty good as well. But, um, yeah, so maybe the Tomb Kings might be a good matchup to try that as well. Uh, like I said, maybe the Green Skins. The Vampire Counts, I think it's a bit, a bit, a bit riskier. 
troops because they have some pretty strong flying units as well and they tend to bring you know terror guys isn't super uncommon in this matchup but at the same time if they don't bring any flying units then you're completely safe up in the air and you can use up all of your ammo with no issues so yeah maybe maybe it's a gamble here maybe you try and take them but uh let's see norska we talked about bretonia definitely not uh same with the wood elves the high elves uh, Warriors of Chaos as well is uh, risky. I mean, Chaos doesn't have that many flying units, but they do also have the Feral Manticore. And, um, you know, they have uh, flying lords and so on, and uh, dragons. Can be a bit riskier against Chaos, I would think, than Norska. But uh, Beastmen actually would probably be decent. They only have Harpies, so as long as you can screen them out with some kind of missiles, then you should be relatively free to fire from the air. So yeah, actually a number of matchups I might want to try this out in, but just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you used the bomber? What's been your experience in this latest patch with it? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.